This is JC Sutherland, Product Manager for M Audio, and in this video we're going to go over Arsenal. Arsenal is your intelligent production hub and also a preset librarian. What I mean by preset librarian is if you have a lot of VSTs, you're going to have a lot of presets, and this can systematically tag those presets to find them quickly. You can also use any VST that you want in it and auto map to the widgets and the software, which are one for one emulations of the hardware. We provide you with maps for most third-party plugins, but if you want, it's really easy to do MIDI learns and do your setup from there. You can run Arsenal as a standalone application, or you can instantiate it as many times as your computer can handle as an AAX, an AU, or VST, and it loads VSTs. So if you're like a Pro Tools user, you can instantiate it as an AAX, and you'll be able to load VSTs into Pro Tools with intelligent auto mapping. This is designed to be an open system, so we try to make it work well with everything and any drum application. We're going to provide you air drums and also hybrid, but if you're very comfortable with a sound set or a workflow of another drum triggering application, you'll be able to use it with the Trigger Finger Pro very well. So let's get into Arsenal. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on this gear to configure your settings. Now on this system specifically we've already scanned, but the first thing you want to do is hit the scan button and Arsenal will scan your system for all of your VSTs. If there are maps already associated with these that you can download, we'll already have them tagged for you and we'll already have them set up to widgets for auto mapping. Some of these might not be validated. If they're not validated, it's usually because there's an output mismatch. However, you'll also notice that usually there's a version of this plugin that is validated. After that, you will click on the IO settings and it'll usually default to the built-in output and the built-in microphone if you're on a Mac. So, you're gonna select what's in this case, the M-Track Plus. You're going to get, try to put your buffer size as low as your computer can handle. And for active MIDI inputs, make sure you just check Trigger Finger Pro MIDI. You do not need to select Trigger Finger Pro Mackey or Trigger Finger Pro Arsenal or select a MIDI output. You'll notice on PCs that you do not have this option of Trigger Finger Pro Arsenal because the driver will hide that port. We are set up and so we'll hit OK. So now that we have Arsenal set up, we're going to go through the menus. The first menu we're going to go through is the save menu. What these are is set list. The save set list is redundant to saving a set list in this window. And what a set list is, is basically it's a list of some plugins that are your favorite plugins or plugins for a set. When you enter in any plugins, it'll automatically save but this is kind of a backup in case you're not comfortable that will automatically save for you. We will, but sometimes it's just nice to do it manually. The next menu item is Export Plugin Map. And what Export Plugin Map does is pretty self-explanatory. It exports the plugin map. What a plugin map is, is your auto mappings down here. We'll provide you with maps, but sometimes you'll, certain performances require that you're gonna do certain things and want to assign certain parameters that we didn't necessarily assign to a widget. So therefore you can export it and take that map to another system. So if you have a friend with Arsenal or Trigger Finger Pro, you can move it onto that system and you won't have to redo all that work. You can accomplish probably the same thing by backing up, which backs up all of your settings, it backs up all of your tags. And what a tag is, is basically it's all of the different categories that you can make to find your instruments. So you have these preset categories here, but if you want to add a category, feel free, and you'll be able to tag everything. So if you have a preset over here that you want to tag, you just select and highlight in blue and it'll automatically save those tags when you're outside of tag mode. It makes it a lot easier to find presets that you really like quickly. Or you can just put those presets in your set list and you're good to go. The next is save sequence from hardware. What save sequence of hardware is, is it pulls the sequences from the hardware. For example, when you're on the hardware and you have a sequence, when you hit save and you save it to slot one, which is associated with pad one in your next sequence mode, which I'll explain in another tutorial, but basically it lets you back up all the sequences you have on your hardware and save more than 16 if you want to keep doing the production on the hardware and outside of your DAW. So to save the sequence from the hardware, you just pick the slot where the sequence was saved you hit it and then you'll have a normal directory tree and you can save it wherever you want to. 
The next menu over is the load menu to basically load everything to Arsenal that you just saved. So you can load a set list either from a friend or from a different system and have it in your set list category. Import the plugin map that you saved from another system or just in this system. You can restore a backup or you can load sequences into hardware. This is very much, very much the same as saving the sequences. You basically just pick the slot that you want to load the sequence into. You hit this, it'll ask you for a directory tree, and then you load the sequence onto your hardware, and then you'll see it load up here. We already covered configuration. This will just show you the version number. This might be helpful if you have any issues and you talk to tech support. And this is the tag menu that I already showed you. It goes between browse and tag, and this is just the really quick way to tag anything that you want to get to quickly. The next allows you to collapse Arsenal into the view that you want. A lot of times you might just want to look at the auto-mapped widgets or the pads because you already have the preset that you want. So now that I've explained the basics of the browser window, let's go through and actually tag something, find an instrument, and build a set list. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to load hybrid. So I'm going to click on hybrid here and just load the default hybrid. How to make that window appear is if I click up here, hybrid will go. So instead of picking a preset from this window, I'm actually going to pick a preset directly from hybrid to create a new preset in the arsenal window. So, I like the 80s, Polysynth LA 80s keys sounds good to me. So I have LA 80s keys loaded. If I search here, I should see LA 80s keys. So we have that going, and if I click the tag button, it'll show all the associated tags with this plugin because everything that we ship with this will be pre-tagged. And when you download plugin maps for most third-party VSTs, we'll also have pre-tagged those. However, if I wanted to add tags to this, I can simply click on anything I want. So, I mean, it is multi-timbral, so I could add chords to it. However, if I don't think this is a very dancey one, I can remove that, but I'll go ahead and keep that anyway. 80s are kind of classic, I like the 80s, so we will keep that classic. And now when I leave this menu, all of those tags will be associated with this preset. I can find it very quickly by then clicking on those different tags, they'll narrow things down in this window. However, if I want to find it instantly, I can add it to a set list, which just requires me to drag it into a set list. So this will be part of my Thunder set list. If I wanted to create a new set list, I could just click on the plus sign, name it, so I'll call this Thunder Mega. And Morphe's Law sounds pretty thundery in Mega, so I'll put it in there. Now we have that set list and that set list. To get out of your set list, just click on it again, and you'll be back to the full browser menu. So set lists are useful because it's basically like having a favorites menu for your favorite presets. If you have a bunch of VSTs, you will have a ton of presets because usually one VST will have a few hundred presets associated with it, so you might have thousands of VSTs to sort through. The different menus here will help you find new ones, but sometimes your favorites you just want to get to quickly, and that's why set lists are great. Another thing that's cool about set lists in Arsenal is that you can load any preset that's in this window directly from the hardware. So you can either tag them and get what you want here, or you can grab your set list. Now how you load a set list from the hardware is you have these two open soft keys when you're in the arsenal mode and in the control UI. How you preload these two keys is you hold down on it and it'll show you the arsenal set list and you use the push encoder to scroll through here. So I'm going to use sweeper, press, sweeper is loaded and loaded onto this button. Same thing here, tidy, press this, tidy is loaded on that button. However, it's kind of nice now that I'll be able to switch back and forth in a performance between a couple of different presets. And when you're running multiple instantiations of Arsenal, within a DAW, you can have these loaded for each instance. So you can grab a ton of presets directly from the hardware in your DAW. Because multiple instantiations, multiple instruments, it's a great way to not really have to touch the computer if you don't want to because you're too busy performing. So now that I've loaded the sweeper preset from the hardware, I'll show you how to map it. We pre-mapped these, but if you're not happy with how we pre-mapped it, we made it really easy for you to change it. You have 48 assignable widgets that you can go through between the four banks. 
you have all the knobs, faders, and buttons. And how you do this is pretty easy. You hit the MIDI Learn button, you select what you want to change, and then you select what you want it to be. So that's now A1, which means Bank A, Pad 1, Release. You can do that for any of the controllers and any VST that has assignable controllers, not just air drums or hybrid, but any VST that you currently own that you want to load into Arsenal. Now, when you have multiple instantiations of Arsenal, this becomes very useful because when you're switching between the multiple instantiations of Arsenal, once you get past this initial setup, it will remember everything. So when you deselect to learn, that's remembered. So anytime that you load that preset again, it will load it with this map. That's not only for our plugins, it's for all VSTs that you load in here. When you're running multiple instantiations of Arsenal, that can be very, very useful when you're running a multi-track inside of a DAW. Now really the last thing I want to show you in Arsenal is this blue Arsenal. When you're loaded in a DAW, the blue will signify that this is the one that's in focus. That way, if you're running multiple instantiations you, and you're wondering why your hardware is not controlling those certain parameters in the open window, just make sure to highlight this blue and then you'll be, always be controlling that arsenal. From this point, you should be able to go on and start producing on your own with an arsenal on the Trigger Finger Pro. This is meant to be a jumping off point. There's a lot more power here.